In 2016, we were introduced to the first ever four color legendary creatures, and thus the prospect of four color commander decks in general. And while this commander product has given the game a plethora of iconic and powerful cards, none as monumental as Atraxa, Praetor's Voice. Ever since her printing, Atraxa has enjoyed an enormous deal of popularity, eventually securing her place as the Queen of Commander, the number one most popular commander of all time. In the following minutes, I would like to break down the design of this card, to understand what makes it so resonant with thousands of players. First of all, I mean, just look at her. The card is simply beautiful, starting with Victor Adam Minguez's art that perfectly encompasses the atmosphere of New Phyrexia and Atraxa's unique color scheme, and ending in the simple yet game warping text box. Among the most played commanders of the game, Atraxa stands out with the lowest number of words in her rules text, with mere 12. And pay good attention to that number, because this card is pure poetry. Almost everything on here comes in fours. Four colors, four mana needed to cast the spell, four power, four toughness, four keyword abilities and eight words in the simple sentence that defines a truly one-of-a-kind design. At the beginning of your end step, proliferate. And to earn it for the recent errata of the Phyrexian creature type, which I'm otherwise quite a fan of, the type line would have remained perfect as well. Legendary creature, angel horror. Four words, simple, iconic, intriguing. Most of the time in magic, angels are these beings of pure morality, justice and righteousness. An angel horror breaks that in this beautiful contrast that immediately makes the character interesting. We enjoy contrasts, it's what catches our attention and adds depth. Once again returning to the art, we can see that contrast at play here, attracts this imposing figure as if in a spotlight, contrasted against the darkness in the background. Her white metallic skin, opposed by the light body horror in her character design. The classic image of an angel challenged by this terrifying yet somehow beautiful monstrosity. That would be the card at face value. But beauty on its own is not enough to push a card to the height that Atraxa has reached. I mean, Plenty of gameplay-wise underwhelming comments rock a very pretty artwork. No, there needs to be something far more. So, let's ask the question, what makes a great commander design? Firstly, power, of course. And the track size is for sure powerful, if not close to downright broken. She can do a lot just on her own with that array of keywords. But if it were only that, the design would be just okay. In comes the infamous sentence and my second criterion for a good commander design. Flexibility. Proliferate as a keyword action is already an amazing contender and one of my favorite abilities for that reason, as it can do quite a lot since counters are pretty integral to the game. Making this the centerpiece of Atraxa's design we find ourselves in front of countless opportunities. No two Atraxa decks are going to look the same, as there are so many ways you can take it and make it your own. Planeswalkers, plus one plus one counters, Infect, charge counters, oil counters, Atraxa has you covered. Even if you were to just throw in every random card from your bulk that mentions a counter, the deck would be fun to play, thanks to Atraxa being there. And since she is 4 colors, she makes sure that you can include almost anything you need. 
Sure, this opens the card up to a fair bit of criticism. Being 4 colors means that the deck is basically guaranteed to find a way to answer pretty much anything it comes across, and it hardly ever has to struggle. But I think that having a card like this in the format is good. It's good having so many possibilities and a legendary creature that highlights that aspect of commander design. With the still quite recent Phyrexia All Will Be One, you can almost just build a proliferate theme deck and drain everyone with Scheming Aspirant. In the end, I would like to talk about one last aspect of this card's beauty. What makes a Traxa four-colored? That might sound like a strange question, but it's actually very important. Four-color design is tricky. What is it that the card does that couldn't be achieved by a three-color one? And what is it that it doesn't do that it can't just be five colors? The first answer is a lore one. Atraxa used to be a Mirren Angel, one of the last defenders of the plane before she was defeated, captured and went through the process of completion, supervised by four of the five Praetors of New Phyrexia. Urabrask, being much more benevolent towards the enemy survivors, has declined the offer to participate. Both in terms of the story and the card, this makes a tracks lack the color red. In magic, red is the color of passion, anger, hot-headedness and strong emotions in general. It's also the color most associated with chaos. What does this tell us? Traxa is everything except for those things. She hovers above the battlefield, vigilant, deadly, resourceful. Her card functions like a clock. Each turn, at a predetermined time, you get a benefit that you can use in any way you want. You get to decide which permanents and or players to proliferate. This opens up different strategical choices, political moves and more and the repeating pattern of force on the card tells you that there is nothing random or chaotic going on. Only the cold calculation of New Phyrexia's deadliest general. Hello, a little bit of unscripted rambling at the end of the video. Thank you for watching. This was my first proper attempt at a video like this, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And I've got more videos planned uh, similar to this one and not so similar to this one. So I hope you stick around and find out what those ideas are and support me in the future. Uh, you could also share your thoughts down in the comment section. I'm really interested if you like the card as much as I do, what do you think about its design or if you don't really like it. And yeah, that would be all from me. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.